making the booms go a bit, but what I'm doing now is what is making a mess. Oh, just missed out Walker, luckily. Spraying the first blight spray in today's video. But before we get into that, I'd just like to say if you enjoyed the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and get your Farming Bros merch at farmingbroshop.com. But yeah, so we're doing the first blight spray today. So thought I'd take you along. A little bit rusty. So it's been, well, last season's the last time I've been spraying. Because we sprayed um, a chemical called Propolux. Um, to begin with, which is a horrible powder, so um, it's a bit of a cheap, cheaper spray because it plants are still quite young, so they're not um, as susceptible to blight. And if the weather's still cold, we'll get filling up. We've got a few acres to do. We've got, um, what we've got about 65, maybe might even be more like 75 acres to do today. Furthest away ground, which is an hour in a tractor. So with this, with this bus, we're going to be. They do like um, 34k, so um, it's gonna take us a good hour to get out there. So we better get better get filling up and get a move on. some fresh water yesterday so I had like 800 litres in there already but you could do with some scales really it's a little bit <laughs> just guesstimate um, all that much powder like three quarters of a bag I put in that last one but we don't have any might, might have to invest in a set of scales right guys so I've just got to the field first field it's taken an absolute lifetime got an unfold check all the nozzles Gotta let the spray run through when it's been sat there. The like new spray takes a while to get through the out to the nozzles. Put the pressure up. What's it? 20 past 12. Make sure I log the time. Get my spray record. Bump on. Bring it on. Flick my pressure to auto so it does my pressure for me. Let's go spray it. Try and keep it nice and close. About half a meter off. This is the first field we planted, so um, obviously this is like, the first one with light spray and we've got some ruts as well, it's not making life any easier. It's making the booms go a fair bit, but this is not very ideal. Hitting them in the ground. <laughs> Flick that side off, flick her off. Whip around in the corner, then we spray back on. Back up this end, look. Well, a bit high that side. Weather forecast is pretty pretty rubbish all week. This is the best day, but it's not completely ideal. There's a little bit of wind around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely takes a fair bit of getting used to it. Chris likes to do the um, weed spray. So he's been round for the first time and done all the weed spray. Oh, that's a bit good. Yeah, so <laughs> like I said, Chris has been round and done all the weed spray and so he's marked out where all the trees had to do all the counting tram lines and all that shenanigans but well I'm sweating right so we finished this field what's the time 10 to 1 turn the radio off chatting about giving older farmers paying them to retire just gotta fill out my spray sheet it's better to just do it like as you go because if you leave it it turns into an absolute nightmare because you were like oh yeah i'll remember and then you never actually do remember so what time did we start 12 20 it's half an hour so we sprayed 6.2 hectares pretty sure it's a 15 acre field but i would have had probably a bit of overlap it's better to overlap than underlap with a blight spray which i've probably i've said in previous videos but it's so much because you definitely don't want to be missing any it's my first um time out so I've been probably overlapping a bit more 
making a right mess of this. Put my stuff in the wrong thing. Um, what's the weather doing? Sunny and cloudy? They usually tidy it all up at the end of the day. Right, so I've just filled up for the second time. What I'm doing now is what is making a mess. This feels still pretty um, soft. <laughs> as you can see in front of me. I've done the headland of this field. It was a little bit dodgy going down that um, bottom headland. See, it's kept on trying to pull me down the hill. So. <laughs> Oh, it looks a bit there. The one above, I've done that one, so this is the second one. And there's two over there, and I think I'm going to have to go back and fill up to do the last one. There's one field on the way home, which I'm going to do. And then there's another one back at the yard, so still got a fair bit left. Once I've done this block, I'll be on the home straight. This one's quite awkward with telegraph posts there. Um, well, every field bar. This one I'm in now bit of like sticking the booms over on the verges and stuff and there's footpaths try not to sp spray the public the general public don't think that'll go down too well right so we're on the next field i thought i'd show you this all one of the awkward telegraph posts i gotta go around got a footpath going through the middle there luckily um no walkers around at the minute now i've got to do something here where i think i've got to hang the boom over this grass verge for shield probably see in a minute which one we going in this one here bloody hell i don't know which nah it's got to be this one it's got to be this one been driven down the one been driven down next to it as well which isn't isn't too helpful flick it to manual just as i'm negotiating my pylon in it nope lovely job back to auto drop it down a bit Oh, powered through it. Powered through it. Yeah, this has been a bit soft in spots. I'm just going to back it back where I came from, down this headland. And then, um, turn up round. <laughs> like this. Oh, I wish you literally slid down onto it. Might be able to see it there. What did it? <laughs> bit of wheel spin to set off up the hill. Oh, just missed that walker, luckily. Yeah, it's not the nicest conditions to start the season off with but um i've been doing it for this is my third year i'm surprised it's so wet because the beds have actually um aired off quite well but obviously not right guys so i'm just filling up this tank here hopefully you can hear me but here plugs in because when, you, when you're on the road it's pretty pretty loud in the cab i've got two fields left but i've still got a fair few acres so waiting for water at the last place i've just needed like 300 liters I was sat there waiting, I had to wait for the tank to fill up a bit. The guy who we rent the land off, he's out spraying as well, so he's been using water, so we'd be fighting over water, but um Right, so I just thought I'd show you this. Just done my headland run, you'll probably see. It's a little bit soft. Yeah, better go steady. At least I've done my headland, so hopefully. Hopefully if I drive where I've driven, it'll be alright. Might need a bit of tidying up with a uh... Oh, caught me yet. Pretty much be the story everywhere. I wouldn't say it's been quite that bad, but this is probably the worst as it's literally all the way down. Right everyone, just got back, all parked up, all finished up. Decent bit of spraying done for the first, first outing. Not gone too badly. A few <laughs> little sort of soft spots, but yeah, got, got on pretty well, I would say. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Just like to say thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Get your Farming Bros merch at farmingbrosshop.com. Go check that out. And yeah, thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,